Hi, I trust this finds you well. Hope you've had a good week. Hope you're out there enjoying the beautiful sunshine today. Here's a thought from Pashat Ki Tetze. It's filled with many beautiful mitzvot. Here's one. The Torah says, if you come across the animal of your neighbor, their donkey, their ox, and they're fallen, perhaps their burden was too heavy, and they're crouched on the floor, says the Torah, don't hide. Don't cross the street and pretend you didn't see. Instead, hakem takimimo. Go and lift it up. Go and help. Be of assistance. Imo, with the owner of the animal. And Rashi points out something very interesting. Rashi says, Imo, together with the owner, is a qualifier. That's to say that if the owner is willing to participate, to help you, help him, then you have an obligation, a requirement to assist the animals, to assist this individual. However, if the owner just sits back and says, hey, this is your mitzvah, this is your opportunity, I'll just sit by and watch, you come and help, well, it might be a nice thing to do, it might be the right thing to do, but you do not have an obligation just to assist when the owner is just sitting by and letting you do all the work, obviously, if he is able to help and he doesn't. That's a very interesting thought if you think about it. Very often in life, we sit back and we expect things to happen for us. In the context of being three weeks before Rosh Hashanah, we come to Shul and we open up a Siddur and we ask God, please, we want this, we need this, please bless us with this. Well, sometimes these are things that are beyond our control and we really need the mercy of the Almighty, the blessings of Hashem to help us. But sometimes we are in a position to create a vessel to create a channel through which Hashem's blessings can flow. We can do some planning. We can put in some effort. There can be a strategy. And it's most important that we think about during these three weeks leading up to Rosh Hashanah, what kind of effort can I put in in order to ensure that there is a vessel in which Hashem's blessing can be contained. If we can't, if there, we've just fallen flat on our backside and there's nothing that we can do, oh, can do obviously, Hashem is a loving parent. Any parent would do anything for their child if they can't help themselves. But as the saying goes, God helps those who help themselves. If we are in a position to do, to put our front foot forward and to create a channel, to create a conduit, surely Hashem will let those blessings flow for us, for our family, for everyone. Shabbat Shalom and take care.